give the pun. But um, when you look at fish, there's around about, oh, around about 32,000 species of fish on the planet, more or less. And Australia's got around about 4,000 of them. We currently fish a very, very small percentage of those. And some of those fish are vastly more prized than others. Uh, bluefin tuna, the Atlantic bluefin tuna. You know, the whole term tuna, you know, we bandy this term around, what on earth does tuna mean? Tuna is around about 15 species um, <coughs> globally that we, that we target. It ranges from the big beasties, the Atlantic bluefin tuna, 4.6 meters long is the biggest one ever caught. 685 ton, uh, 685 kilos. I mean, this is a massive fish, absolutely ridiculous. Some tuna, like the little bullet tuna, 50 centimetres long, not even two kilos. So you're talking a massive range of fish that come under this word tuna. And I think that's something that people really don't understand. I mean, you pick up a can of tuna and it's tuna. Well, it's not. There's lots of different types of tuna. You've got yellowfin tuna, which is one of the fastest animals in the sea, 75 kilometres an hour. Those things can go. I don't see too many cheetahs in cans, do you? You know, these are, these are kind of things that we don't really, we know so little about the world's oceans. Just the other week, we had a report come out in Nature Communications where through a acoustic survey, they had found that we've underestimated the fish biomass of the, of the world by some 30 times. There's three billion fish in the mesopelagic from 100 meters down to 1,000 meters that we hadn't even found before because we couldn't catch them because they're far too smart. You know, we're talking massive amounts of stuff on this planet. The lanternfish, that through those calculations, is now the most commonly found vertebrate on the planet. You know, we know so little about the oceans, it's very, very hard to get all these fancy definitions. But I think it's as plain as day that if you take a population down to less than 4% of its pre fish biomass, you cannot in any way, shape or form call that sustainable. And going back to the, our friends, the tuna, there are some tuna that are, like the bluefin tuna, that are critically endangered and shouldn't be consumed at all, let alone pay $1.7 million for a single fish last year at the, uh, city, at the uh, Japanese fish markets. This tuna here is a much, much smaller species. It's caught at about two kilos, two to three kilos, very, very young it's called, it's called skipjack tuna. Relatively speaking, there are plenty of them, relatively speaking, at the moment. Maybe there won't be in the future, but at the moment it's actually species of least concern. And that's good news for us too, because bioaccumulation in the world's oceans is a really big problem. Our friends here that are swimming past these big babies, swimming behind us, they are mercury-laden beasties, full of mercury. The methyl mercury that they, they hold is enormous. So this is sustainability for us as well. You know, we're actually feeding like two little kids. You know, I'm not going to give them too much of the big types of seafood because the amount of mercury in them is um, far too high. So if you're catching small fish that can reproduce well, you've got a good chain of understanding where they came from, you know which ships caught what, you can actually get the providence of them, so you can actually have this chain of events, you can certify that these things are what they say they are, it's not as Greenpeace found in its can tuna report, 46% of all tuna worldwide is caught illegally. I mean, 46%, these numbers are just ridiculous. So, there is a massive, massive jump between a lot of the technical assessments of sustainable fisheries and the kind of the bigger picture helicopter view of, you know, 40%, 46% of this fishery is not even being documented, we don't even know about it. So that's a big, big thing. So when you've got, you know, when they said, look, we own a cannery, we know which fish we're catching, we're catching the small ones, they're fairly abundant at the moment, it's a hell of a lot better choice. I looked at the numbers, went, wow, in the UK, 75% of stuff is polled online, in the supermarkets there, you know, Australia is sitting at two and a bit percent. You know, we've got a long way to go to even approach the word sustainability.